What's up Vape Fam? It's Vapor Monkey, and today I'm going to bring you a short little unboxing of a product from Kangertech sent by ElementVape.com. It's called the Subbox Mini C. It is a kit that includes the mod and tank and charger cable, all things you need other than a battery and some juice to get yourself vaping. It's a super low, budget friendly, uh, affordable kit. Um, without getting further into the kit itself, let's take it up close and let's get you more familiar with the product that I'm talking about. So uh, without further ado, let's get some up close action on this Kanger Tech Subbox Mini C. Okay, so here is the up close on the Subbox Mini C by Kanger Tech. The box. Subbox Mini C starter kit. Flip it around, you have your authenticity, you have the color of your device or kit, and uh, you got some other stuff there and what it contains. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so when you open it, you get an authenticity card. And uh, you get some instructions here. Okay. You get the device. You get the tank with the coil already installed. And then you get the charging cable. Also on this little paper behind the charging cable, it says, fill and close top cover immediately. Okay. Alright, so let's clear all this up real quick and put this tank on the device and we'll talk a little more about it and I'll also throw a battery in. We have the battery in. Also keep in mind that it is negative up top and positive down low. A lot of people would be used to the positive being up top and the negative being down below, but they chose to do it another way. Okay, just letting you know that. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you how to turn it on. It'll be five clicks on. One, two, three, four, five. It's telling me it's off. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's looking like mine is six clicks on. So let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. It's not five clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it must be seven clicks on, seven clicks off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, mine is seven clicks on, seven clicks off. Just a good thing to note. But uh, let's just go ahead and go over this real quick. You have your USB charging port here with the supplied cable. You can sit it down and have it plugged in and uh, charge your battery and also vape it while it's charging. To um, scroll up and down, all you would do is press and hold the left or right buttons. To flip the screen, you would hold the two buttons simultaneously and it'll flip your screen over and uh, flip it right back. And you have the recessed fire button, which gives it a nice feel in the hand. You have the adjustable uh, juice flow control here. Your airflow is also in sync with the juice flow. So having it on the wide open juice flow control, your airflow is wide open. And as you close it off, your airflow will start to close off. And then when you get to the tighter juice flow, your airflow is also restricted. And to take it off, all you would do is pull because it's pressure fitted on. There is a little nipple here to prevent you from turning it too far. Basically, the nipple in here will catch that when you push it on. And you can just turn it until it stops. You can turn it and adjust. And uh, you have the fitted 510. You can fill it from the top just by unscrewing it. After you've unscrewed it, then it's also pressure fitted on with an O-ring. Like so. Alright, and we'll screw that on. And that's it. There's not really much else to say about it. You have some battery venting and uh, nothing else really going on. So let's take it back up top and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it and close it up. 
right, so now that you've seen it up close, you're more familiar with the device, I'm going to give you a quick pros and cons and then let you know what I think of it overall. Starting from top to bottom, the mounted 510 is going to be a con to some, but it's not a huge deal. Um, as a pro, as a starter, that's not going to bother you. It's not going to be a huge deal because you're just getting into vaping or you're just advancing from an ego so or an ego pen, so it's not really going to affect you that much. And you're still going to appreciate the vape quality that's improved over upgrading to this. Moving down to the tank, the fact that if you are vaping at home or out and you need to change your coil, all you have to do is pull the pressure fitted tank to the coil off and you can swap your coil and then you're good to go. Um, that also is a con. If you're an intermediate or advanced vapor, you're going to know right away that if this is in your pocket and you go to reach for it, there's a very good chance that you may accidentally pull it up from the tank and pull the tank off, leaving this in your pocket and also losing a bunch of e-juice pouring down into your pocket as it comes out of your pocket. So I wouldn't recommend keeping this in your pocket. This is something that you would want to have in a vape case or if you were to be like a chick and have it in your purse, you want to make sure that you have it in a pocket by itself and to make sure that you grab it by the mod. I don't really have any other tricks to that because this is the first time I'm seeing a pressure fitted tank to a coil kind of system, but um, just be very careful with it and also make sure that that little locking screw is flush and not holding it from completely pressing on. The juice flow control is a, a neat little feature. I'll just mention that as a pro because I don't really have any cons to that. That's just cool to have that as a feature. Um, the airflow um, mixed in with the juice flow control, eh, I'm kind of like on the fence with that. I mean, it would have been nice if you could have juice flow control and then on the side have your airflow control ring as well. But I mean, for the price you're getting it, under $30, you can't really be too picky about it. You're getting a lot in a little package right here. And it's a pretty good package you're getting for that price. Uh, moving on down to the actual mod itself, 7 watts to 50 watts, that's a nice range to play with with that amount of money you're paying and getting all this extra stuff included. Charger cable and whatnot. Um, the fact that it has a magnetic door, that's very nice. It's also very easy, you know, simple battery swapping. If you don't feel like using the, um, the uh, included charger cable, whatever, you can get right back to vaping immediately. And uh, you can vape all the way down to 0.3 ohms. For such a low budget cost uh, kit, to be able to vape down to 0.3 ohms, that's pretty impressive. So you can actually mess with building if uh, you start vaping and you get more into it and you want to start trying to build your own coils like with RTAs and whatnot, so that's really cool. Um, overall, I think it's a great kit. It was sent to me by elementvape.com, so be sure to check them out. They have killer prices on all their vape gear, so I am by no means here to tell you anything like fantastic about this device other than the truth, everything that I got out of it. And um, I have to say, for the price point and what you get, it's a killer deal. Make sure you check them out. And uh, be sure to let them know I sent you. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's a great device. I would totally get it if uh, I started vaping and I seen it for the price it was at. I would give it a shot. You got nothing to lose. And you got a nice little mod and tank to gain. And if you don't like the tank, you still got this mod that will definitely go along with you on the ride to getting better and learning more about vaping. But uh, I pretty much think that wraps it up. I'm Vaping Monkey. Hope you enjoyed this review and unboxing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll leave my email as well if you need to reach me, if you have questions about further reviews. Um, I believe that wraps up everything. Uh, Till next time, keep your cotton wet. I'm Vapor Monkey, and I'll see you later.